Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today somebody sent me this JPEG and wanted to know how you could reproduce this pattern for engraving on a frame, I guess. And I played around with it a little bit and, and uh, with taking nodes and, you know, making them irregular and, I mean, taking nodes like this and, you know, selecting them all and, um, you know, moving them down and, you know, if everything's not perfect, even hold down your control key, uh, it's kind of hard to do it. So I, and I actually did it, but it's off. I mean, here's my attempt and it worked to make that pattern. I actually got outside the box there, but actually, you know, I guess that box has a leak now, but, uh, you know, the nodes aren't right on top of each other where this is dead on and this one's not. And I'd kind of thought back and I've, remembered making a soccer ball a while back a six-sided soccer ball and we're going to make that let's make it one inch across and then I'm going to take my nudge factor and set it on one inch nudge distance I keep calling it factor I'm going to start over here control D and move it over And we'll make a few more. Then our distance down is 1.56, but we can use one. So I'm going to select all those, make another duplicate. Now we know it's one inch across, so we can change our distance to 0.5. And then we move our distance to 0.5, and we already have our exact zigzag. Now, we would probably want to make it a little bit wider, but for the video, we're, we're going to leave it like that. Zoom in here and create a line holding down your control key. Zoom in on this side. Hold down on your control key after you get that node. Sometimes that does that. Node to node. Then take your Smart Fill tool and fill it in and there you have that pattern. Left click, right click, make it a, and it, it could be thicker, but you know, I don't know what this person is going to use it for. And I don't know how they're going to join it. And if I was going to maybe do it for this frame, you either need to talk about you've got two going up or that one's going up and this one's going down. So what you're going to do there, as far as the frame itself, uh, I don't I can't see how they've got them connected it's just it looks like they're both going up and they're just not connected or they're just barely connected so if you were going to have this going up you would just want one more you know just take one more polygon and move it over that and take that line and put it here so let's just delete that line and put another one here and I'm basically doing this for them because I don't know if you'll ever do this but if you ever need that pattern I need to zoom in going from that node to that node and then fill that in move that down left click right click and now you have both of them going up so it all depends on how you're going to put them together on the frame. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.